to be able to say uh, from expansive area, uh, we currently don't have any bird at the moment. Now, this is what used to be um, an entire production site. And we are just going to get into it. And now what happened is we need to ensure that all this entire dirt or what we call the fecal matter from our birds needs to go out before we are actually able to bring in another flock. So the first thing we need to do is to ensure that the whole coop is actually uh, dismantled and then we can be able to uh, remove the whole um, manure. Now this manure is actually nutritious and can actually be used to do what we call planting or even top dress your plant as well. Now let's begin in the first set of activities. This whole journey that is uh, in terms of disbanking the whole thing uh, to be able to um, rebuild. Um, I'm being assisted as usual by uh, our farm manager and uh, I believe this uh, without the kind of help of these guys um, it could not have been the possible to have this kind of thing. Now on one of our ends uh, we have actually removed uh, what used to be our semi-permanent wall and as you can be able to see now the whole space is all clear and now what's remaining is now this semi-circle I hope you guys you also understand why we had this one and in case you don't understand now this was uh, useful because as your flock tends to become smaller and smaller then you kind of tend to limit the kind of movement so that they can be able to utilize all the feed so that's why you'll be able to see we start with a big cycle and then we come to the smaller cycle just back here let's see how this one goes Uh, so we have all the tools that we are going to use. We have the fork djembe as well as the wheelbarrow which is going to be helpful in carrying out the whole process. Then we also need a shovel. Yes, the shovels are there as well and this is going to be an exciting uh, experience. Of course, also due to the nature of uh, manure. Obviously, uh, I want you guys to see, even if we removed our bud, can you be able to see how dry that matter is? And I believe this is what uh, brought the success of our previous one. Um, we did not have any uh, outbreak. And the secret, the secret is just right here. You can be able to see as the cleanup is going, how clean and of course still, how dry that whole matter is. And this is something I'll keep saying. If you want the success of your poultry cook, then you'll need to ensure that your beddings or what you call your chicken beddings are as dry as possible. Now, if I was a farmer in production for pran, now this will be good news for me. I know uh, this manure is usually rich in nutrients and it can be applied to the farm. But since we're being hosted within an institution, we tend to give all these manure for free so they can be able to do their own production. The next process is usually now loading up the manure and uh, uh, the manure being taken out of the cook. 
Uh, it's an interesting uh, process, and let's see how this one goes, right? <laughs> Now, the cleanup is still ongoing. And I know what you're wondering is why do you have your face mask? Is COVID 19 back? No. COVID 19 is not back and we will never wish for it to come back. But now, when you're doing your cleanup, it's essential for you to wear a face mask because, as, you, as I shown you earlier, the fecal materials. It's very dusty and you don't want to have any infection coming on. Now, let me remove this because, well, I'm not doing it at the moment and I'm talking to you, right? So, the face mask, the face mask helps to prevent you from breathing in any dirt, which, I mean, you know, it's very dusty and helps to prevent you from any infections coming on. Now, this cleanup is very essential as we tend to prepare in for another batch. By the way, we are actually in another brooding phase and I'll be sharing that with you. But now, if we don't do this cleanup in good time and give it at least two weeks, then there's always that risk of your flock being infected. Now, let's see how this cleanup goes on. And I uh, will now be able to share with you the next face. almost uh, finishing up and now uh, what used to be manure or a cross it has been reduced up to nothing uh, the next phase will be now uh, using water to scrub it while dry and I believe uh, after that then we are going to desificate the area and uh, yeah the whole process is going to be complete now uh, the cleanup has just finished up and uh, we are going to the next phase that is using uh, water because the first thing was more about um, removing the dust from the ground and uh, that's done so let's get into the water now so the first bit uh, is going to involve uh, now using water as you can be able to see a super splash and we are going to use the following um, detergent as you can be able to see it's just uh, normal soap and then uh, we're going to move from that end all the way uh, to this further end and uh, of course we are also going to clean the walls and you'll be shown in a few Let's see how this one goes. So the first thing is uh, we are going to clean the walls first so that once water falls on the wall uh, it's then going to be cleaned out. The walls are essential because we use the iron sheet and the dust tends to lose. So let's see how this one goes.
now it's essential to scrub every part because if you don't do proper scrubbing bacteria tends to remain behind uh, and as you can see uh, this is an activity that is going to take uh, maybe 20 minutes and once we are done with the first layer of cleaning we are going to repeat it again and now in the second phase we're going to use a disinfectant which is going to be effective in our next uh, journey So, um, after 20 minutes of uh, cleaning, we have actually done the first cleaning from that end all the way to that farthest end there and finalized to this other end. Now, in the next process, and I say this is the most important one, we are going to use biosync. And as you can be able to see, uh, it just looks like that. This is uh, one liter. It's a disinfectant. We're going to add it to water right there and then we're going to splash the water all across our coop and that way then we'll be able now to know we are killing any germs which or viruses which might have been left before. Now, let's see how this goes in the next uh, few minutes, possibly in the next 20 minutes. So uh, the farm manager is just opening up the biosafe and uh, we're going to pour it inside that uh, water and let alone we are going to use it for disinfecting the whole place. Now biosec is one of the safest uh, disinfectants we have been using both at our foot bath as well as when it comes to uh, clean, uh, cleaning up the whole uh, space. Uh, it's been recommended by our vet uh, bearing the fact that it tends to kill all microorganisms that might have been left behind. Now, most of the farmers don't end up uh, using these uh, measures and that's why you see um, most of the times they always end up with high mortality rate. Now, for our case, we always tend to use all these processes uh, they might seem simple, but then they are important because um, for us it's all about maximizing the profitabilities and that means minimizing our mortality rate. So um, we're going now to splash in this water close the cup and uh, I bet after that then we'll be done with the whole uh, cleaner. Now let's see how this one goes.
after hours uh, it's been hours since we started this whole journey and finally the whole exercise is done and as you can be able to see from that uh, further corner from that end all the way to that corner where the farm manager is you can actually be able to see um, the whole cleanup it's all done now let's get even a uh, further look at how our floor looks like you can be able to imagine how clean it is it has been disinfected and the walls as well they've also been disinfected with uh, biosafe now what happened is after this is we're going to give this place uh, two weeks we start using uh, the manure collections we were able to use our brooms we used the water and then let alone we were using water for the second time as well with our disinfectant which is the biosafe now our loom looks good and clean and I have no doubt that in the next two weeks the place will be ready for our new breed and if you have been keen enough you might have also listened to some noise in the background which confirm we are indeed doing another brooding and let me show you in a bit where the brooding is happening now so uh, this is our Kalin frog, uh, it's actually 8 days old and um, I'm just super excited and as I said uh, if you want to have such an amazing frog that is with zero cases of mortality and of course if you have them then they should be minimal to less than 2% then the, you need to ensure you have done a uh, proper cleanup on that further end as you shared and uh, yeah uh, we'll be talking about this vlog some other time for now that was just a sneak peek of uh, what we are doing actually these are around uh, 385 bugs and I'm actually happy with the rate of the progress we have shown since we kick started this job we have come close to the end of today's vlog We've been able to do uh, the tasks we had set for, and I will recommend uh, the whole process to any farmer out there. For our case, you'll be surprised, um, we rarely have mortality cases, and as we do, they are usually less than one person. I'll give you an example. Uh, currently, we are doing brooding, and today is actually day eight for those birds, and Believe me, we have zero mortality rate. How is that achieved? Now, the answer lies to the process we have just shared with you. It's so important when it comes to cleaning, when it comes to disinfecting your whole pottery pot. If you don't do that and you introduce another flock to where the other flock used to be, then you run the risk of diseases or viruses infecting uh, your current frog and the risk is even higher because you can even high, have high mortality cases and remember in poultry farming if you minimize the cases of mortality then it means you're in business but should the cases be high then your profitability has is also affected. Now, this is the advice I would give you. Every time, once you uh, remove your floor, always ensure that the room is well cleaned, and of course, it's also well ventilated, and lastly, it's also well disinfected. And if you do that, you'll thank me and of course your flock will be happy so thank you guys see you in another vlog bye